Yeah, we're in Long Island. Roslyn? Yeah. See, the way he said that, that's true Long Island. Yep. That's a true test. Coffee. It's in yeah, the coffee. Draw. Yeah, yeah, draw. And he calls me Sarah, <laughs> Sarah. instead of Sarah. Sarah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was, uh, actually, I heard you speak somewhere, and I can't remember where it was. I heard you narrate your books later on, like Living with Sia, which I, I've given to everyone. Uh, but the first time I heard you speak, I was like, there's someone like me. <laughs> there's someone that talks like me. Yeah. It says, Rorta, this is amazing. Right. I'm freaking fired up. Good. And I, I can't remember the, the first time. It's incredible. So you just got through this race. What is the, was this race that the two of you were at? Yeah, so the race is called The Last Man Standing. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's got a really interesting format to it. It's, uh, f- you have to run a four, complete a 4.2 mile loop yeah. in under an hour. Okay. If you finish in, t- in 50 minutes, you've mm-hmm. earned a 10 minute rest because yeah. at the top of the next hour, they line you up again for another 4.2 mile loop. Okay. And that continues until one person's left. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So, and this is the first time this race has been done, or is this a... Annual? The format's relatively new, yeah. but they, they've done races like this before. Because yeah. you've done ultras like Bad Water. There's not a lot of people that sign up for these yeah, races. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there were 112. 112 super people? Super intense, impressive ultra runners yeah. there. Yeah. And he said a 4.2 mile loop, but yeah. he's leaving out how intense the loop was. Yeah, that's what I was just trying to figure Super out. hilly. Yeah. Okay. A super hilly loop on a dirt trail with mm-hmm. like rocks and debris. Yeah. And it wasn't a super, you know, carved out. And... 10 of the hours that he ran out mm-hmm. of 20 were in total darkness with the headlamp. That's crazy. Yeah, when I Googled the race, it said moderate elevation. So yeah. like, <laughs> moderate elevation yeah. to me is like, I'm going to go get the mail. Yeah. Come yeah. back. And if you live in Maine, moderate elevation means yeah. severe mountains. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> I was it, trying to figure that out because I saw 4.2 and I was like, it doesn't seem like that much. Right, obviously yeah. I can't do 4.2, but like it didn't seem like for you like that much. Well, I was anticipating coming in based on months of training around yeah. 52 minutes, having an eight-minute rest, okay. but the course sure. was so challenging, mm-hmm. it, I got in around 57 minutes, so it didn't yeah. give me a lot of rest. When did you start this whole ultra kind of racing thing? Uh, well, I was, I was a runner. I ran marathons, yeah. you know, since my 20s, but once we had four, we had four children under yes. 10, yeah. That stopped, and I would get a four mile or mm-hmm. a three mile or whatever here yeah. and there. So I recommitted to this about three or four months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you do this too? Sarah recommitted with me. Yeah, yeah. Do I do it? You, do you do no. these kind of races? No. No, no, no. me neither. I, I am doing a challenge though in Switzerland. Um, I, I'm gonna swim, bike, and hike through okay. the Swiss mountains. Wow. And I'm doing that with Richard Branson and about mm-hmm. 35 other entrepreneurs, and it's to raise money for education. So I'm not like my yeah. husband. What happened is I had had too much tequila yeah. when Richard <laughs> asked me asked if you. I would do yeah. it, and I said sure. And now I'm like, oh, okay. When is that? So I leave this Friday. What? It's coming up right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> I know. So I leave this Friday, and you know, I just I had to read the list of what I need. I need yeah. a wetsuit to swim in a glacier lake, and it's crazy. Are you going to be tweeting this? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not yeah. going with her, you're but not, I'll, not, be, follow, I'll it? be following yeah. it yeah. from uh, you're from supposed afar. to stay up the whole time. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I didn't tell you this, but in the yeah. car right here, I was like, "What are what are things I should do for 20 hours and have Jesse have to tag along?" Yes, totally. I'm like maybe I should shop for 20, 20 straight hours, hours yeah, yeah. and you have to go with me. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe we should just like Did listen to really sappy love songs and talk about emotional stuff for 20 hours. Oh, film it and put on Instagram. It would be amazing. Make him stay up. The whole thing. Very funny. <laughs> how do you, I'll come up with something good. How do you two? How do you two manage to do all the things that you do? Like watching your Instagram, I think that's probably the question that everyone asks. You know, that I ask myself and other people ask when I show you, when I show them, because I show everyone both of your Instagram accounts <laughs> all the time, and I'm like, look at the mystery wagon. Right. This. right, 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 right. Band, yeah. <laughs> well, for me. Uh, I prioritize it. I really only have four main buckets. Yeah. You know, my family, my business, my wellness, things that are important to me, yeah. friends, charity. And if somebody doesn't fit into the, one of those buckets mm-hmm. now, I really say no. Yeah. And I eliminate all the stuff that, as much of the stuff that was a time suck for me when yeah. I was you know, single, I could watch TV, go to sporting events. Yeah. And yeah. That's changed for me. Mm-hmm. So as you get older, you, know, you have to change your system a little bit. Yeah. And does this segue into your big calendar? Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> don't make fun bucket. of my big calendar. I love the big calendar. Yeah. I remember we had a, um, I don't have a big calendar myself, but we had a, I need a big calendar. We had, we started this business like a little uh, less than five years ago. And um, one thing when you have like sales teams, they would always come and they'd be like, oh, uh, you know, it was uh, this 
week's a little slow was like uh, 4th of July, and I was like, 4th of July is on a cal- calendar. Like the 4th of July happens every year, right, or it's exactly. like Memorial Day, and right. it's like, what? What? so I got right. everyone giant calendars, and, I, and we just put like all the dates on the calendars, and it's like, look, we have the same holidays every year. So that was our version of the giant no, calendar. In all seriousness, no, yeah. I, like creating a system to optimize, there you go, Sarah, there you go, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creating a system to optimize mm-hmm. and get the most out of the time is so important. And yeah. that calendar helps me. Mm-hmm. I'm visual. I need it. Yeah. How did you two meet? I mean, he does not leave home without that. Without the calendar? Oh, no. Outrageous. For real? Never. For real. Yeah. I mean, he's carrying it through airports. Yeah. It's always in the hotel rooms. Yeah. I just cannot stop laughing. It's efficient for me. Yeah. I didn't bring it on this running, on this for this running race, because why would I need my big calendar, calendar on the running the race? race. And on the way there, Sarah's like, um, when I'm in Switzerland next week, yeah. how many days are you away for speeches yeah. or whatever? Yeah. And I'm like, I have no I don't idea. Know. I don't, I don't have a calendar. There's no so, digital form of the calendar. It's just it's, literally When you get calendar. to be 51, the digital thing becomes out to here. And it's yeah, just yeah. like, you can't barely, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what it even says. Yeah. So I need the calendar. It's crazy. Now, how did you meet? I know this story, but it's a funny story. <laughs> Sarah was a customer of mine at a company I had called Marquee Jet. Yeah. Yeah. And we were having a customer appreciation event, mm-hmm. a poker tournament in Vegas. And uh, each each rep was allowed to invite one person in their territory to yeah. this event. And the Georgia rep sent a picture of Sarah. And I was like, no more applicants. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to this there. I this We were married a year later. Get out of here. A year later. Basically. A year and a half later? Yeah. 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 And how did that work? What? How did he manage to uh, convince you? Oh, the oh well, that he did some funny things. Yeah. I mean, he first of all, he was about to run 100 miles, mm-hmm. and he called Spanx and said to somebody that he got in touch with, which was my PR person at the time, he said, I'm uh, Jesse Insler, and I'm going to run 100 miles in Spanx. That's and amazing. literally, this girl came down to my office and yeah. said, Sarah, I have a lunatic yeah. on the phone mm-hmm. who's claiming he's going to run yeah. 100 miles in Spanx. Oh you think I'm going to send an email? Yeah, it's so good. You want to go out for dinner? So good. Right. If you're listening to this and you need game, uh, <laughs> get at Jesse Itzler on Instagram and ask him for advice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for movie. sure. Yeah, thank Legend. you. Legend. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it worked. Whatever he four did kids later, yeah, Four kids, four kids later, man. Four kids later. Does he still have great, great stuff like that? Does he still surprise you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It never ends? Yep. It's crazy. I mean, his whole life is a surprise. Mm-hmm. He's very uh, adventurous to be married yeah. to. There's never anything boring. It's very exciting. He's, <laughs> you know, he's so, he's a fascinating guy because a lot of people who've become top in their game are typically interesting by nature, yeah. but he's been top in the game in so many different mm-hmm. sectors. I mean, from like rap to yeah. jets to coconut water to, you know, yeah. ultra marathon. So it's really cool. Now, have you done the 29, 20, 20, 290 to 29? Yes, I did the first one in Vermont, yeah. but I timed out, so I didn't get a chance to finish it in time. So I'm it's still it on my bucket list. Wait, this year, in Vermont? Vermont? Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So I'm doing it at Dave Gerhardt's VP of Marketing. And nice. we haven't told him this. I hope it doesn't air. My co-founder, we just told him that we're doing an event. We haven't told him what it is yet. Right? Oh, nice. And, yeah, and we're gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna film the whole thing. Right, because he is the kind of person that uh, he spoke earlier. Who, you know, I sent them to uh, Jocko's boot camp. You yeah. know, Jocko, a long, uh-huh. like four year, four or five years ago, before like uh, there was it was much. A lot of people knew about Jocko, and he's the kind of guy that I sent him there, and I knew he was not going to research what it was about. He just shows up, and he shows up late, and he walks into one of Jocko's uh, uh, boot camps, and he has no idea what this is about. So I know he's going to show up in Vermont and not have any idea what this is about. Wow. Yeah. How do you do it at the camp? <laughs> he did, he's one of those, he can befriend anyone, right. kind of like Jesse, right? By the, you know, he was like, he didn't know what it was. Uh, he, Jocko's making fun of him in front of everyone, you know, within 10 minutes, because he doesn't know what this is. And then within 20 minutes, he's sending live video of like, that he's part of the band of brothers. He's with Jocko and all these Navy <laughs> SEALs, and that they're blood brothers now, and they're going to go do this. And that, that's the kind of guy he is. Right. Like he could talk himself into anything. I suspect Jesse can't. I want to see how many laps he can talk himself into. Yeah. <laughs> That's that going to be amazing. Gonna be yeah. amazing. That's going to be amazing. Are you doing it's it this hard. year? Yeah. 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 You do every single one? It's super yeah. Hard. I didn't do the last one in Utah yeah. because I had my race, but yeah, yeah. I've done them all. Yeah. Absolutely. I think Sarah's the most amazing person for le- letting a seal live with you. Your book, Living with a Seal. 
doing that race that you do at your uh, Connecticut, that up that yeah. the backyard. She is. How do you do all this? Let me tell you something. When I first was dating him, it yeah. was right when the 100 mile race was happening. And everybody that I would say, I'm dating this guy, and he's, yeah. uh, he just ran 100 miles without stopping. Everybody would always ask me the same questions what or have that? the same response. Everyone would look at me and go, no way, what did he eat? How did he pee? Yeah. And um, and I was filming something with um, uh, George Foreman. George Foreman. Yeah. And I said, George, I'm dating a guy and he just ran 100 miles without stopping. And he looked at me dead in the eye, so serious. Yeah. And he said, Sarah, don't try to understand a man like that. <laughs> and he goes, just love him. Wow, that was that the best advice ever? Best advice ever. Yeah, don't dig in. You don't want to dig. And I was bit. like, yeah. got you. And like he was speaking for you yeah. know, he's that kind of guy. It's yeah, yeah, like right. got whatever that chip is. Yeah, he's like brain. Don't scratch a little right. bit into that. He goes, yeah. don't try. And I was like, whoa. And it was yeah. such good advice. So I mean, we got married late enough in life. I was thirty-seven. Yeah. He was forty for mm -hmm. the first time ever yeah. getting married. And I, I think marriage is all about just supporting who that person is, mm -hmm. you know. And I knew. I was marrying and what there's no surprise After right. the, if you start with a hundred miles there's no yeah so yeah, and know. and that's what it really is about so I'm I'm on the journey with him and every chance I get to support what he wants to do and where he's headed I do it and, and how do you push him to the limit how do I push him to the limit <laughs> yeah. Sarah yeah I don't know he doesn't really he pushes himself but I might push him to the limit sometimes in other ways yeah <laughs> drive him a little crazy uh, we're married. We're married, yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. That is like, well, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Absolutely. I've been looking forward to your talk. Yeah, we yeah, are I'm too. Looking forward yeah. to too. Let me know if you need me to carry you out there. No, <laughs> okay, no. I'm good. I'm okay. so excited you're coming to Vermont. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. We'll make sure we get a couple of uh, oh, yeah. loops in. Loops in. We're yeah. going to do some loops. I don't know how many loops I have, but I'm going to get some loops with you. No. Yeah. You have, you have, have a roll of them? I'm going to get you through it. He gave me the eyes. I'll get you through it. I'll get you through it. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to film it. It's going to be amazing. You just got to commit to wanting to, to get it done. Yeah, I do. So we're going to get it done. Yeah. My partner, I don't know. I don't know if he'll, he'll stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> he'll talk his way out of it. Yeah, you'll love it. Thank you'll you so it. much. Oh, man. Thank we you. We can guys. get out of the hot box now. Okay.